Hey guys, this is Fruit Basket, top 1600 Immortal player currently. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys why I think Necrophos mid is not that great. So, look at him, at his abilities. His first ability is Death Pulse. Around Necrophos, he releases skeletons, well, skeleton heads, that does damage to enemies and heals allies around him and himself as well. Pretty simple. Second ability is called Ghost Shroud. It becomes immune to physical damage, but takes more magical damage and slows people around him. And then the most important thing is that it amplifies the healing he gets during this state. It's a free Ghost Chapter, but with amplified healing. Third ability, Hardstopper Aura. There's two parts in this passive. One is that being around Necrophos will harm enemies. And the second part is having last hits on minions will give him additional HP region and mana region for a short amount of time. That effect is amplified by 6 on heroes when he last hits a hero. Very good sustain in fights and lane. Alright, finally Reaper Scythe, which you ulti and it's like a stun that at the end of the animation does damage depending on how much missing health they have. So you want to do this ulti usually at half health or very low health enemy heroes. This also applies a freaking respawn time addition to that person that dies very annoying because when you die from this late game freaking 120 second respawn time hey. now let's look at his dota buff all right we're using dota buff right now and looking at his win rate during his month this month for immortal and divine bracket it's actually pretty high up here necrophos right here 52.88 that's actually really good and if we look at him he has most of his win rate in off lane and pretty close in the mid lane as well but there's some things about necrophos that I don't like him at mid and it's just my perspective all right let's start off with number one which is laning now this is actually not a bad thing <laughs> for Necrophos, but I'm still gonna talk about it. Laning stage in Necrophos mid. I'm not a mid player, but I tend to see Necrophos winning their mid. They out CS and sustain in the lane very well. But that comes at a cost, I feel, which I will explain later. Number two, which is chasing. Now, Necrophos is very vulnerable if he chases uphill during the laning stage, I feel, because he has no mobility abilities or mobility items during that time. So don't chase as a Necrophos unless you know, <laughs> because he can die. Number three is ganking. I feel his ganking potential is really weak compared to other mids in this patch or during this current time because other mids are like Storm Spirit, Ember Spirit those are really popular right now and Storm Spirit, Zips, oh Quap, Quap is really annoying right now Quap has Blink, Storm Spirit, Zips, I already said that you know, very easy to gank if you're far behind. Just TP in when the enemy's not expecting. Zippity zap. Killed two people in that lane. Get the money, get the XP. And you start regaining what you missed out in the laning stage. And Necrophos, you really can't do that. I mean, you TP. You have to walk. And they see you. And they just back out. You just lost time. You know, Necrophos can't catch up like that, not like he has to catch up, but the thing is, he doesn't put pressure on the other lanes. 
I mean, the most you could do is TP reacting if they're diving. As Necrophos, you should TP and defend when people are in fights. So you can't go close to the enemy towers during mid game when it's not a team fight, but it's like ganks. So that's like the biggest reason why I don't like Necrophos mid. Alright, well, number four. Items such as Spirit Vessel. Spirit Vessel is really strong right now. Well, it's always been a good item in my opinion, but it's better now because of the health regeneration reducing aura just by ne being near, but that item counters Necrophos a lot. He's all about sustaining it in fights, in lane, everywhere. And Ghost Shroud helps with that. His Death Pulse helps. His passive helps. His ulti is like a KS thing. It's not really KS, but it also heals him because it makes sure that he gets the kill. And that Spirit Vessel denies all that effect. I mean, sure, you can build Guardian Greaves on Necrophos, and that's actually a pretty good item to purge it out, but I mean, if you have nothing to purge it out, Spirit Vessel counters you super hard, makes you really weak. It's like the good timing that the enemy team gets once that Spirit Vessel is made with charges. And also there are other items as well like Nullifier. Nullifier, I mean it's I don't like that item right now, but it purges you all the time so you can't activate Ghost Shroud to escape physical damage. And then Necronomicon if the enemy actually micros, they can defusal or purge out your Ghost Shroud with that ability that the arrow guy has. And that puts Necrophos in a very vulnerable state because most likely he won't have any escape items and then he just dies. And I don't like that. And then number five is that he requires long fights. Because the longer he stays in the fight, the more his passive does, and the more he heals his teammates and uses death pulse on the enemies as well. So in scenarios when your team dies too fast, the Necrophos is really easy to kill when there's a lot of people, I feel. Yeah. Alright, well, that's about it. And then number six. He should be off laning, I think. Mid lane has too much responsibilities that Necrophos can't really fulfill. But in off lane, I mean, you can stay there for a pretty long time. Rotating as an off laner, you don't have to do it too much. I mean, well, <laughs> I still think you should TP react. But yeah, you just out sustain the enemies in off lane. Heal the support with you. He just good. He just does better than mid, I think. Well, that's really about it for Necrophos from my perspective at this current state. Tell me what you guys think about Necrophos. Perspective is key. Goodbye.